Hey folks, Machine Repeat here, and I'm pleased to be joined by a very special guest, uh, innovative farmer from Bristol, South Dakota, John Horder, who is the owner of The Rock Block. John, how are you doing? I'm great. How are you today? Hey, I'm doing pretty good. A little chilly here in Minnesota. I don't know, South Dakota, probably a bit chilly over there as well. But uh, but yeah, John, uh, it's been a while since I've been out, but uh, boy, I've been watching the development of your company, The Rock Block, these last number of years. I'm just a huge fan of, of what you've created. And uh, we need to tell a story here to folks. And I think it kind of goes back to uh, like 2013, you were in the cab with your young son at the time. Uh, why don't you pick up the story, John? Yeah, I guess at the time uh, we had kind of been uh, making this kit on our own farm and we had it on a John Deere machine and we'd been using it. And, you know, at that time we had no idea we were going to be selling this product or whatever. It was just, I saw a need um, in our rocky soils. We have like gravel type soils where we have the rocks that are the size of marbles or peas. And uh, when we hit them with these disc mowers, uh, you know, issues with breaking windows. So I guess I kind of just threw some stuff together in the shop on my John Deere machine and uh, we've been using it. And then, uh, you know, a year or two later, I bought a, a three point uh, more for road ditches and stuff. And uh, my son, who was about three years old at the time, was riding with me. And we hadn't even been out using this new machine for an hour. And we blew out the side window. And, uh, you know, that was a big eye opener. Just, you know, he was terrified. And, you know, it's scary for anybody that's ever had that happen. And that was kind of the eye opener that uh, this is something that we need to focus on. And, uh, we started building kits for that machine and lots of others uh, in the following years and just had tremendous success. Yeah. Well, again, the rock block, um, you know, being proactive and keeping those uh, rocks, those projectiles uh, out, you know, from, from breaking those cab windows and the safety of it. Gosh, I mean, I can't imagine sitting there with your, with your young son and what, what can happen there. Uh, you know, that's uh, so you saw a need, and you were kind of already uh, going down the path. Now, t talk about your growth with the Rock Block, John. I mean, you your sales growth has been kind of breathtaking over the last number of years. It has. You know, like we said, we never intended on being in this role where we're selling a product. Uh, we went ahead and we got a patent on the product after a few other people thought it was pretty neat. And, you know, it's very simplistic and uh, easy to use and, uh, you know, I farm myself, so it's important to me to have a high quality product and, you know, time is of the essence, whether it's downtime, if you do break a window or installing the kit, you know, we're very cognizant of that and we want to make, you know, a great product and have it be affordable and have it be a benefit to farmers. And, uh, you know, every year since we've been selling them, we've been doubling our sales and, uh, wow. you know, the, the outreach has just been you know, tremendous, you know, everybody's like, well, that there's no way that'll work. It's too simple. Or, you know, you know, and then they, they get to looking at it and, you know, you, you talk to the people again and they end up buying it. And it's just, you know, they say, just, you, you just go out and you mow hay now. You don't have to worry about the next time you're going to have a, a rock come screaming through the cab. And, you know, I talk to a lot of people that have gotten hit by rocks after it breaks the window, you know, it's just, it's just a terrible experience and expense and downtime that uh, yeah. we found a, a great solution to. Yeah, the, the whole peace of mind factor, gosh, I mean, um, and I, I think the other thing that I, that I think about whenever we talk, John, is, you know, this is a universal problem that I think you're right, so many people have dealt with and, and scarily so. So, uh, you know, why wait until, an act, I mean, be proactive about it. Um, I would imagine the word of mouth you've been getting from your customer, and I frankly have heard customers talking about it. I mean, I think you've got a lot of believers out there, John. It is. I mean, it, it, word of mouth is the most flattering, you know, form of advertisement that I could have. If, if somebody thinks a product is great, they're going to tell their neighbor and they're going to try it. And, you know, that's the reason to our, our success and our growth is, you know, people believe in it. And, you know, our product isn't for everybody. There are areas where there are not rocks in their soil, you know, and we, we catch grief from those people of why would you want to run your machine through a field that has rocks or, but, but there is a, a large amount of people that use this, this style cutters that do have this issue and they understand it. And uh, we're, we're, we've, you know, we've really taken away the, the fear of having to go out there and uh, break a window or have downtime. So it, uh, it's just, it's really satisfying to hear people that are confident in something you've done and uh, how they like it, how it's changed their operation. It's, it's really humbling.
Well, to achieve that sales result you have there of doubling every year, I mean, the word of mouth must be fantastic. And I can see from a number of standpoints, I mean, one, uh, you're addressing a universal need there with folks with rocks, there's these flying missiles, um, taking out the downtime factor is huge. Uh, can you talk about uh, the ease of installation of the rock block, John? Sure. I mean, that, that's very important to me is, you know, you get something and whether it's a piece of furniture that you get at Christmas or whatever, and you get these directions that really are not fun and you just like, oh my, am I, you know, I've got pieces left over. So to me, that's very important. Um, we have our kits, we try to use existing holes that are in the machines. And if we do have to drill holes, we provide a template. Uh, we provide all the hardware that you need. We have pictures in our instructions. Uh, we're currently working on doing video instructions. Uh, we're hoping to have them done yet this spring. So you'll be able to go on our website. And if you've got a question, um, you know, you can just watch the video and see how we recommend putting it on, you know, and, and I put my own personal cell number on all the instructions. So if there is a question or somebody's frustrated, call me. I mean, I'm always available. I want to make sure that what I sell people are happy with. And, you know, sometimes we run into a machine that's a little bit different than the rest for whatever reason. And, you know, I can walk them through it and, and get it installed in a timely manner and have a, have a product that works. Oh, I love that personal guarantee, John. That's awesome. And again, folks, uh, you know, check out uh, the website for the Rock Block. It's the rockblock.net. Fantastic site, John. You've got some great videos out on the website. I've, I've been watching those. Very well done. Tons of great pictures. Um, now, can you talk about uh, the width of makes and models that the Rock Block, your kits are set up for? Yeah, currently we have uh, 15 different kits available. Uh, we make, um, we call them universal kits. We have those available in seven, nine, and 10 foot widths. Those are more for your three point style mowers. Um, they'll fit 99% of all uh, different mowers. You know, they all have different configurations and whatnot. We, we provide extra hardware and uh, suggestions for mounting them. And then from there, we also have a wide variety of kits. Most of the machines nowadays are either you know, the three-point style or the, 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 the pivot style, they're mostly 13 to 16 foot ranges. Uh, you know, we have specific kits that fit those, you know, mostly the New Hollands, uh, John Deere's, um, the Case IHs. Um, but we also do have a 13 foot universal kit that's, you know, it's designed after the smaller ones for the machines that we don't make a kit specifically for. So, you know, we're, we're always adding uh, models all the time. Um, it's just, you know, we got to get a feel for what the market share is and, right. uh, you know, have kits for the most popular machines. Did I see you also have uh, kits for McDonald and Vermeer as well? We do. Yes. Yep. Those are some of ours as well. Um, you know, there's, there's hardly any machines that we haven't found that fit yet. So um, if you've you know, got a question about your application, there's usually a way we can make something we have fit. Well, John, your, the story on the rock block to me just keeps getting better. I mean, uh, you know, for the safety reason, the peace of mind factor, of, you know, avoiding downtime, being proactive that way, but and cost wise too, gosh, the rock block, uh, you know, uh, going back to your example, when you were in the cab with your son and the window shattered, I mean, the cost of a rock block is like less than replacing the window. Yeah, with a lot of these newer tractors, you know, where the window acts as your door, you know, a lot of times those doors are often costing, you know, a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars and with inflation or all the time. You know, most of our kits are in a range of you know, seven hundred to twelve hundred dollars, depending on the application. So, you know, as a farmer myself, it's important to me to keep the cost so it's it's, it's a good economical, you know, buy that you know helps your operation. So um, it's, it's been very important to us to keep our costs down and uh, to help other farmers out as well. I love it, John. And I also noticed on your website, the rockblock.net, uh, you sell direct right on the website. Folks can go on and see all the kits available and um, can order, do business right there. Yeah, we just, just updated our website here this summer and launched it here about two months ago. And uh, we have an online store. Uh, we can uh, set up all your shipping there. Um, you know, we, we don't have it set up for Canadian customers yet, but you're welcome to call me. I ship there direct all the time. Okay. Uh, we, we try to make it as easy as possible. 
Um, in our area, we're fortunate to have speedy delivery. So a lot of times we can have those kits right to your door within one to three days. And it's, wow. it's very economical. Uh, we also ship UPS all the time. So, uh, you know, when you need the kit, we hope you buy it ahead of time. And but unfortunately, a lot of my calls are, yeah, I just broke a window 10 minutes ago. Send me a kit, you know, so we hope that we get a kit before you break a window. Um, but if the need arises in season, uh, you know, customer service and having stuff there in a timely manner is very important to me too. Right. And uh, now, am I, did I catch your website correctly, John, that you also have uh, some dealers and wholesalers also selling the rock block around uh, the country? Yep. We've got a number of implement dealers that'll sell our products. So, you know, if you're buying a new machine and you say, Hey, I've seen this uh, product online, uh, you know, and, and they don't know about it, you know, they're more than welcome to contact me and we can set uh, dealers up uh, in our network and I have a few farmer dealers as well. So, um, you know, anybody that would uh, be interested in looking at this as an opportunity to make some money as well. Uh, we love farmer dealers. We love implement dealers. Glad to take on anybody to the team and uh, keep expanding our business. Yeah, folks, if you're out there and if you got some rocks in your area and what John was saying resonates with you and you know this universal problem, think about this opportunity. I mean, I see a lot of uh, farm equipment products and I'm telling you the rock block is top of the top of the heap it's good stuff made by a farmer john for farmers uh now one last question john your logo i've, I've kidded you about this but i think it's like one of the best logos that i've ever seen are you going to start selling merchandise on the rockblock.net here soon we do we we have t-shirts uh, i've got one on you can't really see it but it's uh uh, we have a, a, a picture of a knight, which is supposed to protect you. That's kind of our, our logo is protect you and your tractor. And uh, we incorporate it with the rock block. And uh, yeah, go check it out on our website. And, uh, you know, hey, if, uh, if you're willing, just say, send me a me an email saying I saw this uh, video on Machine Repeat and we might mail you one. So uh, yeah. Yeah, we're willing to do some advertising. So the, uh, I, you're, you're sharp one, John. That's good stuff. A special offer there, folks, for viewers of this video. So so uh, do what John said. Hit the rockblock.net. You're going to enjoy the website. It's a fantastic website. Or give them a call. I think you correct me on this number, John, but is it 605-216-4852? That's correct. That's, that gets me directly. Okay. Well, John, thanks for the update on the rock block. Exciting to hear about your growth there. And again, hats off for creating a product to help keep us safe on the farm, avoid downtime. And uh, yeah, you know, just built by farmers for farmers. Congratulations on your success. Thank you. Always a pleasure to visit with you, Greg.